Okay, now let's see how you do this. Junior is saving the day. So this is an interesting property that everybody should know. When I when I look at the logarithm here, I'd like to share my amusement with you. Now, um, let's see. This is your memory test, not computation test. This is roughly. Okay, I'm happy to see. I guarantee you, as you do more math in your life, Somewhere along the line, you will have an occasion when you see this number, 0 0.31 popping up in the test. As soon as you see this, you got to think of this. Then the problem solves easily because they will ask you something like this. Estimate 10 to the 0 0.301. Uh, the number you gave me is 0 0.301. I'm asking you 10 to the number. Somehow we can, when we know how to think forward, thinking backward is, <laughs> Took a while for you to come up with this. Yes, it's two. That was the whole point, right? I mean, that's what this is telling you. 10 to that number is two. So 10 to that number should be two, of course. Okay. Uh, here, now. Estimate. Log. Two. You can write in fraction if you want. I am back. Okay, you're back. But obviously, you guys know this would not be zero point something. Think about it, people. This is two to some power, right? That's right. But you, you can estimate in decimal somehow. Because you know this. You know this relation. Ah, brilliant. Who's this illustrious person? May I see your name? Oh, a moment like this, we wish they were real names. Ah, brilliant. That's right. If you may continue your brilliance and estimate what is going to be roughly. Ah, oh, even more brilliant. I don't know, you guys, you're too, ex too precise. I think you used the calculator. <laughs> if you ended the three, huh? Wait, I wasn't supposed to use one. No, no. But it would have if you stopped at three point three, then you were aiming for zero point nine nine. This would have been clearly uh, you are using your rational thinking ability to come Wait, up with I the didn't answer. use it for the first part. Oh yeah, this yeah, obviously you didn't need it. <laughs> you don't need a calculator to write like this. Okay, so when we get the 3.3 here, I, I want to do some sanity check here. Does it make sense? 
See, two to the third power is not big enough, right? No. And Eight. two to the fourth is too big. Yeah. So you know, the answer will fall between these two. And it did. So this kind of checking is uh, useful. In fact, should not even be a checking. This should be a second nature. Too, too many students have no sense of numbers, right? In real life, they would realize something's wrong when they say, oh, this iPod is 50 cents. They will raise eyebrows. But when they do math problems, they happily put down those numbers. Such as son is older than father. They, oh, son is 30, <laughs> father is six. Dr. Chai. Yeah. Did you say that the number has to go between two, I mean, eight and 16? Because I'm looking for 10. But I, I'm I asking two, three, two, two, yes. three, two in between eight and 16. No, this problem is another uh, way of saying two to the X is 10 is what I'm asking, right? If this was X. Okay. Another, yeah, that's right. And two to the three didn't quite make 10. Two to the four overshot 10. So my answer has to be between three and four. And this is very assuring that it fell between those two numbers. Okay. So here, I want you to realize, this is what I want to realize here. So if you have A and B equals C, I, I should not be so rude and take up the entire space. I will politely put it here. If this is true, find now. So everybody, take a look. So we were saying. So could you write the whole equation for me, uh, uh, Delilah? You got the right answer. Equals uh, law of B over A, uh, B base A. Okay, what you just did now, could you write this in the exponential form? Mm, don't use the root sign. Please use expo uh, fractional exponent. Don't use slash either unless you need to. Okay, everybody got it? Now, please raise both sides by C. Okay, now that we've done it, please take a look at this part here. Write this as exponential form. I hope something clicked. If it Something clicked, have a check mark. Nothing clicked, X mark. <laughs> Didn't click, eh? <laughs> okay. I had one class that I was teaching. I don't think any one of you were in that class. Anytime I say, wow, if you find this to be neat, then they all put X. Every time I ask anything, they put X. Okay, so that's. Uh, so that's it's now really you, I, sad. Mm, that's okay. I'm used to it. So everybody, take a look at this now. If this problem is now obvious to you, check mark. The beauty of this problem is that you don't need to know what this uh, value was. 